Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with a long awaited and highly anticipated and highly recommended model. This model is dedicated to UPS employees and everybody else that love their service and also love the aircraft as well. Okay, this is my third, this is my fourth MD-11 model uh, after the Varit uh, World Cup, the KLM, and then the uh, highly popular American uh, MD-11 this is the fourth one also I have another one coming as well the FedEx I'll be getting that one momentarily but what you're staring at folks is a Gemini Jets UPS MD-11F F stands for freighters okay it's in a 1-200 scale model it just came out and I highly recommend you get this model okay I purchased it on April 15, 2015 from Troy's Toys, based out of Overland Park, Kansas. His website is www.troystoysinc.com. Uh, you can call him directly. Uh, I know he had a bunch of these still available to sell. Um, let me give you some facts about UPS, okay? UPS Airlines. Okay, UPS Airlines is American Cargo Airline and a subsidiary owned by United Parcel Service, UPS. UPS World Headquarters is based in Sandy Springs, Georgia, a suburb of Atlanta, while the UPS Airlines Company is headquartered in Louisville, Kentucky. Its International All Points Air Hub World Port is also based in Louisville International Airport in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, UPS was founded on August 28, 1907 in Seattle, Washington by James Casey. It actually began as the American Messenger Company then changed the name to United Parcel Service in 1937. Then UPS Airlines was founded in 1988. In addition to its world port hub in Louisville, Kentucky, it also has Asia Pacific uh, hubs in Hong Kong International Airport in Hong Kong, Shanghai Pundong International Airport in Shanghai, Shenzhen International Airport in Shenzhen, China, and then the U.S. hubs Secondary hubs is Philadelphia International Airport, LA Ontario International Airport in LA, Dallas Fort Worth International Airport in Dallas, Texas, Miami International Airport in Miami, Florida, Chicago Rockford International Airport in Rockford, Illinois, that's a suburb of Chicago, and Columbia International Airport in Columbia, South Carolina. Those are the US secondary hubs, okay? And then the European hub is Cologne Bonn Airport in Cologne, Germany. And in Canada, the John C. Monroe Hamilton International Airport in Hamilton, Ontario. Those are the hubs right there, okay? Now you have an idea about the information. You can probably go on Google and get the rest of the information, okay? All right. Now I'm going to show you the box and all that stuff and then show you the mock, okay? That logo right there, that's the new brand logo. That's their UPS brand logo. It's been that's the one they've been using since 2003. And then you see the uh, you see the uh, model right there. That's the model that's on the box. Then you see the MDFF stands for freighter. And then you see the stand right there, pad as well. And then there's the gear replacements right there, folks. Gear replacement right there that I'll show you momentarily. Now I'm gonna turn around the box. Let you see the back of the box here. Okay. All right. And then let you see the side of the box. That's the side of the box, okay? Now. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to show you the model. All right, there you go, folks. There it is. MD-11F freighter in a 1200 scale model. Well, this is the first of two cargo uh, models that's coming 
cargo models in this uh, aircraft. The other one's FedEx should be here in about a couple weeks. So get ready for that one too. A lot of people waiting on that one as well. Okay. Now let me finish giving you some history about UPS Airlines MD-11. How did how they acquired this aircraft? Okay. UPS Airlines acquired the MD-11 from Japan Airlines. Thai International Airways out of Bangkok, Thailand. Delta Airlines, Swiss Air, Varig, Voss, and World Airways and converted them into MD-11 Eps, MD-11 freighters, beginning in 2000. UPS Airlines has 38 MD-11 freighters in their fleet, okay? The MD-11 has the range to fly up to 8,000 nautical miles. So, there you have it. So, this plane can go pretty much from point A to point B pretty much, okay? Alright, and the UPS... Uh, brand logo was unveiled in 2003 as you're looking at right there on the box and on the aircraft as well So there you have it. So I'm getting ready to get into the details with this model now I'm gonna start with the front here folks All right, let's start with the front here a little too I forgot what that is down there, but this is the upper front cargo container door is an upper and then there's a lower cargo container door okay it's three cargo container doors on this aircraft this is the front upper cargo container door there and then you see UPS's airline slogan there worldwide services synchronizing the world of commerce all right no landing light there okay and then you see the uh, CF6 engine this is one of three CF6 engines on here okay and then you see the uh, the red navigation light here as well. Then you see the winglet on here as well. You know, it's about six feet tall, if you didn't know. And then you see a couple windows there. There's a little window there. And then there's a little door there. You can't see it, but there it is. And then there's another window right there, okay? And then you see the uh, registration number, folks. There's the registration number. N277UP. UP stands for 90 parcel service okay and then you see the second uh, CF6 engine there on top of the underneath the uh, tail as well like that okay and then there you see the UPS uh, logo there alright I kinda like this brown and yellow gold here it's pretty cool alright now I'm gonna turn this around now there's the APU right there folks APU there okay see it from this angle here okay 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 all right okay then you see the uh, lower rear cargo container door right there you see the registration number right there you see the UPS logo right there as well and then you see the green navigation uh, lights here on this tail here you see a lower winglet there and then you see the winglet on this side as well okay then you see the little window on there as well on this side then there's a little door right there and then there's a little window there and then there's the front lower cargo container door and then you see that little logo right there folks all right and then you see 277 that's the uh, registration number right there and then now see the uh, the, w the cockpit windows and the windshield wipers on there pretty impressive now I'll show you the engines they do spin okay pretty cool on this side as well let's see I don't even know if this spins in here yeah, it spins as well. The inside spins as well. But can't see it. You get the idea, okay? Now you see the top of it right here, folks. Okay, there's the antenna there. A little hump there. It ain't there, but that's the ideal for internet and Wi-Fi usage, okay? Then there's the little pearl beacon light right there. And then you see the antenna there. CF6 engine there. Now I'm going to show you from the top angle, okay? No luminary lights on here. Wow. Okay. 
And then you see the uh, the wings on here on the on the 11F. Okay. Okay. All right. Now the time to show you the bottom of the fuselage. Okay. There we go. There's the gears right there. There's the uh, hole where the stand goes in. No, that's the Gemini logo there. Gemini Jets logo. Okay, Gemini Jets logo. There's the gears there. They're all retractable. I'll show you those in a minute. There's the beacon light right there. And, uh, you see the little antenna there bent a little bit, but that ain't nothing to really freak out about, okay? There's a little escape hatch doors right there, okay? Okay, so, all right, now I'm going to put this on the stand, but I'm going to show you with the gears, with, with, without the gears, then I'm going to show you with the gears, and then you can choose to display your model either way. I choose to leave mine on, okay? So, now here's the stand that came with it, okay? There you go. There you go. Now I'm gonna turn it around this way. This is a beauty. There you go here, folks. Okay. Now I'm going to show you without the gears, okay? Okay, now I'm going to show you without the gears. I'm going to take the gears off, folks. There. 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 Okay, that's without the gears. Now I'm going to put the, the, the model on the stand now, right there, okay? There you go. Now you get an idea what it's like to fly with or without the gears, okay? And I'm going to turn it around the same way. There you go. Okay, there you go. Now I'm gonna uh, put the gears back on there. Then I'm gonna show you with the gears on again, okay? Now I'm gonna show you with the gears, okay? There's the gears right there, folks. The gears lights on there, pretty cool. Okay, now I'm gonna put that on here. Then I'm gonna put this, another gear right there. Then right there, and right there. Now, now I'm going to turn this right up here, because now y'all know they are retractable, so, okay. And these are the gear replacements that come into play. Forgot to show you that, okay? There you go. So, put this on the stand here one last time. Okay, there you go. Okay. The wheels don't roll that good, but you know, this is still a great model though. The model to have for your collection. This is all I have for this model for right now. Um, please rate and subscribe and leave me your comments and your suggestions and see what I can do to improve this, my video quality. I hope that looking at this review, it helped make you decide if you want to get this model or not I definitely highly recommend this model for your collection especially if you're a UPS employee or a UPS uh, customer 
or just a diehard fan of UPS, period. You know, I definitely highly recommend this for your collection. With that said, please take care. God bless. And the next model up is the Qantas 737-800 in the Retro Library. All right. Take care. God bless.